Today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're gonna do the review that I've been waiting two weeks for. A review of Porking Good Pork Rinds. And we'll see if they're porking good right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I have been waiting two weeks to try these. You've been waiting. I'm the pork rind lady. <laughs> These have been sitting right there on the floor in our studio for two weeks. Rachel, Joe, come eat me. Screaming our name, but we did a 72 hour fast, then we did a five days of keto chow only. All good things. All good things, but yeah, I have wanted to eat these. Now we have had porking good pork rinds before. But and they are porking good. But we've had the basic flavors, ones that happen to come in our keto boxes they are and stuff aptly like that. They are named. They are really good. So recently we reached out to the company and said, hey, we've tried some of them, we really like them, we'd like to try some of your flavored ones because one thing about pork rinds, most of the flavored pork rinds, Can't especially eat. the ones that you get in the gas it's got station, garbage in it. they put maltodextrin in them or they're fried in bad oils and they don't have any of that stuff in this. Makes me so happy. So we were really excited. Now we are not affiliated with them at all. They said we'd be happy to send you some for a review. And they even gave us a coupon code, which is Two Crazy Ketos. That's going to save you some money directly on their website. We don't we make a don't dollar. We don't make a penny off of it. It's just to save you guys some money. Uh, now, they sent us a few different things. First, I'm really excited about this. Yes. So they sent us pork rind crumbs. So you can make like fried chicken. We're working on some tortilla recipes and stuff with it. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, and they come in different flavors too. So here's like original, but then they also have spicy Cajun and this one is Italian style. I actually have their website up. They have the original flavor, Italian, an unseasoned, stupid hot, which is a new flavor. We have their pork rind I right cannot there. wait to try stupid and hot. And then they have the Cajun. So we're going to put those off to the side because we are not going to try those right now. They sent us five different flavors of pork rinds. And so... I'm excited about, so we have nacho cheddar, which we've actually had that flavor before. And it, it was so good. very good. They have a sour cream and onion, which we have not tried that one before. Then we have three flavors that I've not tried that I am really excited to try. Salted butter. Salted butter. Pizza. Stupid hot. Stupid hot. Now I'm going to get myself into trouble right now with Rachel because Rachel said we can only open one bag, but I'm opening three bags. Okay. Now they did send us two of each bag. So I will happily keep the open bags. Okay. And then you can have the closed bags. Because here's the thing. If you open up pork rinds, now the clock has started. I'm going to vacuum seal mine. If you don't eat them, they go stale, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, we're going to start off. We're going to taste them all, then put them through our five things. We're going to start off with mild to hottest. Yeah. Because the hot... If That's the one I'm most excited about. Me too. And if it really is stupid hot, we may not taste anything else afterwards. So we're going to start off with the salted butter. I feel like that'll be the most mild. I'm, I'm even going to make sure that I, I do this right. I got a Aww. pair of scissors. Can you smell it? It indeed smells like smells salted like, butter. It smells a little bit like butter popcorn. It's just a pork rind, nothing to really show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? What? No kidding. That is like eating a buttered pork rind. I, I mean, there's not, it sounds stupid, right? Butter, salted butter. That's like eating, that's got popcorn flavor, but in a pork rind. Oh my goodness. And that's just the first one. And You didn't want me to open this bag. Salted butter. You didn't want me to open this bag. Now I want you to open all the bags. No, we're not opening all the bags because I can't eat this many pork rinds in a day. I could. I didn't say I can't. I, oh, I guess I did say I can't. You did. I shouldn't. Well, we have eaten rice. this one. Yeah, we have so had we that one. we don't have to open this. And it's the sour cream and onion. Based on how all the other flavors are, it's going to taste like a sour cream and an onion. 
And they're very true to form because that absolutely tasted like salted butter. Okay, pizza. Okay, so there's a little bit of gaminess going on because it's a pork it's rind. It's a pork rind. All pork rinds smell But rind. I smell a pizza parlor on top of a sweaty pig in there. Oh, my God. I don't know which one I like better. Pizza. I like pizza better. Wow. Wow. There's got to be bad stuff in this. It's got to be. That is so stinking good. Here we go. I am so excited about this. Stupid hot. Now, if you guys are new to our channel, Rachel and I love hot foods, especially me. She never used to be the hot person. I, in fact, we used to go out to restaurants and I would get really hot stuff because she was like, I don't want it really hot, which would give me more food. But now I love hot stuff. Since going keto, because of flavor and we're much more flavored, when you get that sugar out, you want hot stuff. It tastes better. It tastes so good. It speeds up your metabolism a little bit because the spices and oh my gosh. Are you ready? Yeah. Stupid hot. We're I like that name. We're stupid, stupid hot. hot. Baby, you're stupid hot. You're stupid hot. I'm, I'm going to give you, that's a small one. So oh, I'm no, give I need you, a big one. I'm going to give you two. Okay. Deal. Ooh, tiny guy. Who else is down in there? They're all smaller. Okay. Ready? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going one more. <laughs> wow. You know why it's why they call it stupid hot? Because you want to go back in there for more, and that was stupid, right? Stupid. <coughs> okay, so when you first put it in your mouth, I'm like, not so bad, and then it sits in that tongue for a minute. I just want to eat the whole bag. That is good. I mean, because we're that stupid. But here's the thing: that that heat. <coughs> <coughs> Can you feel it? <coughs> Can you that feel your throat closing up? Is going to keep you at a serving. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That heat's gonna hit, keep you at a serving. Ooh, okay. Mama. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. Power we're, through it. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. We're gonna talk about the nutrition label. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend this? Okay. We've got the sour cream Ooh. and onion. Pork rinds, cooked in pork fat, which is Thank very you. important to me. Thank you. Cooked in pork fat. So not canola oil. if you go to the store and you find pork rinds and it just says pork rinds and it doesn't say anything, most of the time that means it's cooked in pork fat. You don't want pork rinds cooked in canola oil. It's just, that's insane. I mean, they're, they're, they're fat. Why do we have to cook it in something else, right? Yes, I'm Use distracted by the heat. Okay, so then we have the seasoning which is onion powder, non-fat dry milk, salt, maltodextrin, uh, lactic acid, and parsley flakes. Okay. So this one does have a little bit of maltodextrin in the sour cream and onion. Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Pork rinds, cooked, cooked in pork fat. Cheese powder, which is whey, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Then you have sunflower oil, which I'm assuming is to adhere the cheese powder to the pork rinds. Right. Uh, you have yeast extract, annatto and turmeric extract, lactic acid, citric acid, uh, yeast, garlic powder, salt, dehydrated garlic, and spices. Okay, so no maltodextrin in that no one. No maltodextrin in this one. Has a little bit of sunflower oil. Of all the oils, I'm going to deal with that one. Obviously, it's part of the seasoning is what it's part of. Let's go right to stupid hot. <gasps> Pork rinds, cooked in pork fat, salt, spices, jalapeno dehydrated. I can vouch for that. Ingredient. Sodium diacetate, spice extratives. Wow. So that's got incredible ingredients in it. And it'll burn your face and off. And it'll burn your face off. But again, when I would go to the gas station and get pork rinds, which are not even super cheap. People are like, well, you go to the dollar store and get pork rinds. But even when I go to the gas station, they're like $2 a bag. 
Um, I always grab the hot and spicy. The hot and spicy, but they have maltodextrin in them. Most of the ones, like in Wawa for us, they have dextrose in them. They have a couple of carbs per serving, and there's four servings in a bag. This is stupid hot. It is awesome tasting, it, and there is none of those Salt, there. spices, and jalapeno peppers. And there's a lot of jalapeno pepper. Yes, there is. Okay, we're going to salted it. butter. I'm still tasting it. Pork rinds, cooked in pork fat. Butter buds, which is milk, solids, non-fat, dry milk, salt, and natural flavors. So, so far, only... No, that's the worst one. Is this... This has that's, got the and it's, in Again, it. it's not even that bad. Yes, it's got the melted extra in the, in the seasoning. It's in the seasoning, not like they've tossed it in a ton of malted extra in. Right. And again, it's because of the sour cream. You have to get that sour cream powdered somehow. Yeah. Pizza flavor. Pork rinds, which is cooked in pork fat. Salt, tomato powder. Spices, including paprika, salt, uh, cheese powder, which is whey and cheddar cheese. Pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt and enzymes, sunflower oil. So the sunflower oil must be part of the cheddar cheese. Right. Um, salt, uh, bisodium phosphate, uh, yeast extract, annatto and turmeric for color, lactic acid, citric acid, natural flavors, garlic powder. The ingredients in all these were really good. Really I will good. take the sunflower oil, which is obviously the only ones that have are the ones that have the cheese in it. So I'm going to take that. Uh, I'm just going to look on the website. Are there any other flavors that we don't have here? They also have uh, Himalayan pink salt and vinegar. We've had those. Those were really good. Those are really good. And that's the only other flavor that we don't have. Oh, they have a white cheddar. And the same thing with these guys. I'm not seeing any dextrose or maltodextrin in, in, in those flavors. In the um, in, crumbs. Okay. Awesome. Number two. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? So we're just going to we'll glance at them all. They should be close to the same. 80 calories. Four servings 90. per bag. Now that's the key. Four servings per bag. I'm going to be really honest right here. There is not. There's going to be like two servings. I, I'm going to go two we servings. We split it. I'm going to go two servings. Um, but we're going to four servings per bag. 85 calories per serving. Five grams of fat. Eight grams of protein. Zero carbs. Zero. Zero. They're all the same Zero. nutrition. This one's 80 calories. Zero. Zero. They're all zero carbs. Okay. You want to be safe? Say one carb or half a carb per serving. For if you want to be really safe for the seasonings, that's what we would normally do. So if you eat the whole bag, I'm going to tell you, you're probably close to two carbs. But hello. Hello. Yes. Um, now, while we're on serving size, you are not going to eat more than a serving of this. Not the hot one. Not in a sitting anyway. You may eat a couple of servings throughout the day, maybe half at lunch, half at dinner. But I'm going to tell you, I love spice. I'm the guy that would order the spiciest wings at Buffalo Wild Wings and do that challenge. These are spicy. If you don't, if you don't like spice, do not try this. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm making nachos with that. I'm thinking like we're gonna have a taco bowl and put a few of these along with a few of those other chips on yeah. top. These are gonna bring so much so flavor. So much flavor. This is my favorite flavor. And crunch. Followed up by the pizza. The pizza is I don't amazing. know, they're all good. The salt and vinegar one is really good too. And that butter is just amazing. Crazy good. Crazy good. Well, we just kind of did it, but we'll talk about it again. Number three, taste. They all taste great. I want to open these up Clearly, so bad. Clearly, they're terrible, right? Like, we hate them. I want to open up the other flavors so bad, but I don't want them to go stale. And so I'm not going to... I'm going to vacuum seal these, but they're all the flavor. They all taste great. They taste so stinking good. Honestly, this company has knocked off my favorite pork rind company that I was getting, which was Epic. That used to be my favorite because they were the cleanest until I found these. So here's the thing. The only thing that's still tying me to Epic, because I feel the same way. This That's ba the bacon one. Is the Cracklins. The Cracklins yes. is Rachel a different thing. Rachel likes Cracklins over pork rinds. This is, I like pork rinds. Dear Pork and Good, please make Cracklins. That is my my wish. My, That's my Christmas wish for and this year. And get in the stores. Yes. Get in the stores. Please get into, at least if you're in other stores, I've never seen them in South Florida. That's the only thing I can give over that other company is that other company is in a lot of our local stores. But I will be ordering some of but these. But flavor wise, this this hands down all the best other pork, pork rind I've ever had. And whatever down. your flavor profile is, they've got one for it. And again, we are not affiliated with them. The only thing we got out of them is they sent us some to try. Because we're right. like, we want to try all your different flavors. Can you send us them? But they gave us a coupon code for you guys. The only one they don't have is they don't have a barbecue. Do they have a barbecue? No. But you Which know what? Which is strange. I, but I'm good with that because a lot of bar, I've never seen a barbecue that doesn't have sugar in it. 
because barbecue usually has sugar. So bar- We're putting of- the challenge out there, pork and good. Can you make a barbecue without putting sugar in it? I'll take the pizza over the barbecue. We haven't tasted their barbecue yet. <laughs> Number four, how much do they cost? Okay, so I've got their website up here because it's interesting the way they're selling. First, let's talk about these. Okay. These are $13.99 a tub. I would rather buy it like this. Have you made them your own with like making you them? You gotta with- crush them down. It gets clunks up in your food processor. Now this is 12 ounces. And it's perfect. So that would equate to, this is 1.7 ounces. So you're talking about There's 12 about bags. seven of these bags. No, this is 12 oh, ounces, 12 ounces. 1.75. Yeah. So you're looking at about seven of these bags in one of this. Plus, I don't want to have to crunch all those. Yeah, so I like the price. And I have $14, not a bad price at all on those. Very reasonable. Okay, so now we're going to get into the pork rind. So all of them, it's a starting at $13.99. You can get it four different ways. You can get a four-pack. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna we have to do some math here. Oh man, I hate it's math. Fourteen dollars for four of them. Got my keyboard over here on the side. So that's gonna be three dollars and fifty cents a bag if you buy a four pack of them. Okay. Then you have an eight pack. I'm assuming it's going down. The eight pack is twenty four dollars for eight of them. So that's three dollars a bag. Okay. We should be do, able to do that in our head, but. We should be able we're to. We're on camera, so. We should be able to. We're, we're, we're not there. Then we have a 24 pack. And the 24 pack is $65. Can I buy 24 bags? I of, want 24 bags, but like, should we buy 25 bags? $65 for 24 bags. Oops, I didn't have the calculator up. $2.70 a bag if you buy 24 bags. We have 24 bags of pork rinds. I was going to say, you may want to spend the extra 30 cents a bag and not have that many like on the ready. Yes. Because you may eat them all. Now, so they, that's all of the flavors. You can buy all the flavors that way. Then they also have a variety pack of these where you get four of them and it's $42 for four of them. Okay. So that's about, it's a $10 savings. Yeah, that's good. If you good. buy four at once, you get one of each flavor. But you, you would be set for breading yes. for like a long time. They have a six pack, try them all of the pork rinds, which is $19 for six bags. I totally recommend that just so that you could play Figure with Figure out it. your favorite flavor. Yeah. So that would actually work out to be $3.16 a bag. And have a little taste test in your home. Have a little taste test. I like that. They have a super good sampler, which is going to come with two of these and six bags. That's $40. Then they have a four pack variety pack with, uh, you get two white cheddar, two sour cream and onion, $14 for four bags. Okay. So that's uh, same price as the other ones. We've I think. eaten the white cheddar and it's good too. Yes. Then they have a, a, a sampler pack where you get two of these and two bags for $35. And again, they did give us a coupon code. We don't make any money off of it. No. Saves you 10%. It's two crazy ketos. We'll leave a link for it down below. If there, I don't even know. If there's a little thing in the notes, just let them know, hey, two crazy ketos sent Yeah, us. if you, you know, could do that. They'll figure it out with the, with the coupon, code. coupon code anyway. So honestly, the only thing, I wish they had like a build your own bundle, but they don't. Maybe they can do that at some point. So are you getting to number five? If you guys are watching this, yeah, take a suggestion. Do a build your own bundle because I would want like six of this. I would buy 24 if I can get six of this, six of this, six of this kind right. of thing. So, yeah, so number five, would we recommend these? Heck to the yes. I think they're priced well. Yeah. $3, $3, anywhere between two seventy to three fifty dollars a the bag. The flavor is so through the roof, it's not a waste of money. Because I've also had pork rinds that had clean ingredients, so I felt good about eating them, but the taste wasn't there. Yeah, there, there is, you know what, I'm not even going to name it. So the name, the 4504. Yes. 4504, you can buy them in a lot of different places down great, here. Great to eat. Awesome ingredients. We used to buy them because of the ingredients. Yeah. And it just comes down to, there's no flavor at all. Flavor and I'm paying was, 350 a bag. Or it was at the very best subtle. It's yeah. super subtle. But not at the price that we were paying for. If them. you have eaten 4504s and you're like, boy, these are flavor action packed, then maybe you this will be too much for you. Like right. this will blow your face off because this is like flavor. Yeah. So now I did happen to notice as we were going over these that uh, there were a couple of flavors that were sold out. The pink salt is sold. Oh, the only the pink salt is sold out. 
It makes and sense. Salt though. and vinegar. It's so good. And the sour cream and onion is sold out right Which now. may be okay. I'm okay with that because that was the only one that had like even one wonky thing. Right. So all right. We're yeah. good with it. So get the other one. Just we they do have a white cheddar, which we it did, was good. they have a nacho cheddar here. But there's a white cheddar on We've there. had the white cheddar on the Right. I was gonna it. look at the ingredients. Is there ingredients on here? There you go. I'm curious about the whey buttermilk. So that the white cheddar does not have the uh, sunflower oil in it. I'm pleasantly so surprised. So, well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried pork and good, and if you have, what's your favorite flavor? I'm telling you, I'm ordering some of these. Yes, me too. I am definitely ordering some of these. This is going to become a staple. And but the keep, pizza ones. But keep a lot of water by you. And the pizza ones. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.